Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us the webinar today. My name is Chin Nguyen. I'm technical application specialist um, Dolomite. So today uh, we will talk about the topics. Uh, the what topic is the palm is a key components uh, for running application using the microfluidic system. So this webinar is one of the webinar uh, uh, series. Uh, we call it the Microfluidic 101 with Dolomite that will be delivered on uh, every last Thursday of each month along 2021. So today, uh, the agenda, the agenda is including the presentation um, and demonstration. And to that, we move to the Q&A section. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, please write out the question in the question box. So uh, we will try to discuss uh, the own of the question in the Q&A section. Uh, the, the topic today is uh, containing uh, the zero pump in microfluidics and type pumps using in microfluidic and the dolomite range of micro, uh, microfluidic pump and which finally the weak pump is right for you. Um, let's talk about the role of micro, uh, micro, uh, the pump in the microfluidic. So before going to the role of pumps, so let me remind you the content that we have learned from the last section. So uh, we already know about the microfluidic technology which uh, enables formation of high mono dispersed emulsion, double and multiple emulsion, particle hybrid material in siring of the micrometers with the very complex structures. Uh, the key application of the microfluidic is very wide range, uh, including, the, for example, like molecular biology uh, for genome uh, sequencing, or particle and nanoparticle generation manufacturers, or simulation of porous media, uh, which apply in the petro, uh, petrochemical uh, industries, or continuous flow chemistry uh, in organic synthesis. So there's three things that you have uh, must need for uh, running the microfluidic experiment. You will need a palm, you will need a surfactant, uh, and you will need a uh, uh, chip. It's a device where application runs. So today we will talk about one of the uh, very important uh, factors uh, um, that uh, is a palm. So why the palm is important in microfluidic? So you know, if the microfluidic has a good responsiveness, stability, and, and re reproducibility process, so the fluid is must flow under uh, smooth conditions. So if the fluid run without smoothness or uh, uh, with the precision, so many advantages of the micro, uh, microfluidic will be lost. Like you cannot get uh, uh, the mono dispersed or uh, uh, very uh, uh, good dispersion uh, particles or emulsion. So uh, let's talk about the type of pump in, using in the microfluidic. Uh, there's many type of pumps that can be used in the microfluidic. For example, peristatic pump and uh, the circulation pump are used in microfluidic when researchers need sample to uh, circulate continuously inside a device. So since this kind of the pump do not allow precise uh, controls, flow, flow controls, so they, um, they are gradually so become less used in micro, uh, microfluidic research. So when uh, this recirculation and uh, precision are required, so researchers use more often uh, uh, recirculation setup using the pressure pump and a shearing pump. So, there's two types of pumping that exist. Um, one is the positive displacement uh, pumping, is a string pump. So in this case, the flow rate uh, is a fish and the pressure is unknown. And the second is the pressure pumping, where the pressure is a fish and flow rate is unknown. And the pressure pumps uh, regulate pressure inside the chamber and uh, the higher pressure, the fast flow.
So um, string forms are the most common, uh, commonly uh, used in flow control system in microfluidic. Even if in the last five years, researchers have begun to use more uh, alternative uh, flow control system. So the main advantage uh, of the strings is that they are quite easy to use and a very fast setup for microfluidic experiments. Another advantage is the amount of dispensed liquid can be known for long-term experiment, and the maximum pressure generated uh, by a string pump can be high, uh, the uh, super hundreds bar up to. So, uh, however, uh, it also has the uh, weakness of the string pump. Is one is uh, response time, uh, so syringes need uh, to reach a steady state. So. The response time can be uh, vary from second to hour, depending on the fluidic resistance and the compliance. Also, um, without the flow rate meters, user cannot know the real flow rate during the transition uh, periods, which uh, can happen in second to hours. And uh, the next is um, knowledge of the real uh, limitation of volume dispense, so the amount of the flux it's spent by string pump is a limit in the volume. And even the first list string pump require carefully choose uh, the string size depending on the experimental conditions to avoid the uh, periodic uh, position on the flow rate due to the step-by-step -step motors of string pump. So keep in mind that the, the fact that the, uh, the flow will um, not be stable at low flow rates if you use a string pump. And also, if the channel are clocking due to dust, for example, so the pressure increase without the limits and can lead to divide destruction. And flow controls of fluids in this and channels, so like integrated valves, is impossible using the string pump. Using the press pump, so the press pump the pressurize the tank containing the sample. So when pressurized, uh, the sample is smoothly injected in the microfluidic chip, and in microfluidic chip, the researcher mainly use the pressure controls when they need uh, responsiveness and stab stability, since pressure controls uh, can uh, uh, stimulate the pellet flow with a short uh, response time. Uh, it can be down to 40 milliseconds, and uh, in microfluidic chip, so. Using the pressure driving flow, so pressure change uh, uh, progress uh, uh, propagate within the uh, fluidic setup um, without the delay and leading to fast flow switch. However, so since there are no moving mechanical parts involved, so pressure driving flow remains uh, smooth, whatever the, uh, the flow rate. Uh, also, it's uh, have another advantage like the positive to uh, of uh, handles the volume of the uh, several liters and to control fluid into that end channel. So uh, it means you can use a two-way valve to uh, turn on and turn off the fluid during the experiment. And it also enables uh, both flow and pressure control when you use uh, a flow meter. Um, the weakness of the pressure pump is a several point, like the pressure's maximum pressure is not too high, like the maximum around 10 bar. And sorry, and and uh, the the possible backflow can be uh, happened. Uh, so when the pressure is unbalanced, so it's possible to have a backflow when do uh, when doing the flows with with the multiple input. So it's a so uh, the, the association with the valve is required to solve that problem. And also the one point. Uh, in the pressure pumps using is uh, is required external compressor or gas suppliers so uh, this one showing the pressure and flow relationship uh, uh, when using the pressure pump so how the one gas fluid flowing inside the micro microfluidic channels so a simple analogy uh, to electrical circuits is a saw in the top uh, so where there's a pump uh, uh, with uh, with the of sensor and the fluid from the pump goes through the microfluidic chip to collect the re reservoirs. So in the electric 
electrical circuits so we have the ohm law so here you have also the p uh, is function of the q and r mu so p is a pressure applied similar to um to the uh voltage in ohm law and the q is a flow rate where the fluids and the r mu is the overall fluids resistance so the higher voltage uh, the higher pressure applied like the higher voltage you apply uh, in ohm law so you can get the higher current you get uh, and the similarly here so the higher pressures uh you apply so you can get the higher flow rate and one more similarity in the ohm law if you have a small electrical wire so you have you have a higher resistance right so here uh, the geometry of the chip plays uh, a larger part. So if you have a small micro channels, so then you will get the higher uh, the R value, resistance value. So this means if you have a small channels, so you have to push harder. So for example, apply more pressure. And Q is average flow, but flow profiles can vary. So Q can be different at different points in the channels. So in 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 a circular uh, in circular tube so this is what the actual flow profile you uh, would look like uh, as you can see in diagram on the right uh, presentation so if you have a different tube shape then the flow profile will be different uh, and also uh, very one of the very useful resources uh, that's the dolomite microfluidic calculators uh, so you can see the Dolomite website. So on, 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 on this one, so um, we have put into different micro channel geometry and their complex calculation has been reduced to an uh, easy web application calculator. So you just input in the pressure and it gives you the Q, the flow rate, and the vice versa. So I will uh, show you um, the, this web, our website in here. So uh, we also uh, put a link to access this uh, website, this uh, micro calculator tools to uh, the, into the chat box. So you uh, can open uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the chat box and uh, enter the link. So in this one, um, sorry, so in this one, so you can determine the back pressure generate in uh, a constant flow rate system or flow rate generate in the fish, uh, in a fish pressure system as well as the renewal numbers. Here, you can select your channel geometry, so you can choose the circular, uh, circulars or uh, uh, rectangular uh, the, the geometry. So for example, in here, I click circulars and I just put enter the channel geometry like diameter, so like 400, 100 micrometer and the length is 200 uh, millimeter for example and we choose uh, the pump the pump method so pumping method so we can choose the string pump or the pressure pump so for example i choose the pressure drive and flow so here you we, you can just select the fluids you are uh, running so you can use water or acetone or blood ethanol at different temperature or you can uh, put the user specifies. So in here, for example, I use the water at 22 degrees C. So it, we have viscosity and density in here. And next is just enter the value. For example, I put uh, uh, 500 uh, and uh, flow uh, with the pressure units a millibar and the flow rate unit, we will select the microliter per minute. So next, so you will, you can see the results. So your flow rate will be just 36 microliters per minute with the velocity value, and the Reno number is a 7.8. So it's a lamina flow. So it's a very useful tool uh, when you use um, uh, the the our uh, when you want to calculate the uh, uh, relationship between the pressure and uh, flow rate. Uh, so, um, and uh, you can calculate the Reno number as well. Let's back to our presentation. Um, yeah. So the next, uh, we move to the dolomite range in microfluidic pump. 
So uh, dolomite provide a wide range of the user-friendly pumps designed specifically to uh, manipulate the fluid in microfluidic system. So you can choose from the pressure pump, uh, piezoelectric pumps, uh, uh, peristatic pumps, uh, or swing pump to gain best flow of your application. So uh, with the pressure pump, it, it provides providing stable and polished uh, flow, both at very low and very high flow rates. Otherwise, shrink pump is a versatile, versatile the pumping solution offering smooth flow rate from the one microliter per, per minute up to 10 mL per minute for wiring application. And uh, with the peristatic and piezoelectric uh, electric pumps, providing the compact and lightweight solution. Also, Dolomite can uh, offer a wiring of EOM, the component and modular wick uh, uh, for the pump. So, wick pump is right for me and for you. So, at Dolomite, um, we understand that every application is unique. So, whether you are looking for the pearless liquid flow or a compact and lightweight solution, so Dolomite can help you with its wiring of microfluidic pump. So the table in here, uh, so in the comparisons, uh, the main uh, feature of the, our microfluidic pumps helping you to make a dry decision. So in here we have a, a, a four type of pump with uh, performance parameters, smoothness, power consumption, lowest flow rate, materials compatibility, lab cost, volume cost, and pressure limit, and size. So from the table, the pressure pump showing very, very excellent uh, on the smoothness and uh, with the lowest flow rates can be uh, the operate and uh, with the uh, material compatibility. However, uh, it has uh, some poor on the cost and power consumption uh, of rates, uh, below the rest. Uh, average and uh, the size also it, uh, it, it's a weak point of the press pump. Shearing pump also showing the good in smoothness um, with uh, the pressure limit uh, is the most advantage of the shearing pump. Shearing pump, but it also has a weak point uh, as the power consumption and the cost. So this slide showing the one of the hours uh, the pumps. So it's a string pump. We call it the mitral part pump. So it's the ultimate two channel string pumps uh, with uh, V and two Vs. Um, v in here the volume of the strings range allows uh, continuous flow with uh, specialized um, uh, barrel operation for smooth flow and uh, flow rates. Uh, range can be uh, wiring in the from the one microliter per minute to uh, 10 mil per minute with the maximum pressure up to 20 bar uh, and uh, with the pressure sensor uh, checks uh, with checks its uh, pressure. So this pump is just only uh, controlled by the software using the PC and uh, uh, the strings with the strings and very pressure sensor and the automator is the materials uh, with a very high resistance, uh, chemical resistance and uh, chemical compatibility. Uh, the other type of the, our palm uh, range is a pressure palm, the P palm. So uh, this one showing the, how the P palm look like and uh, what is the, the drive and pumping the mechanism in the pressure, uh, pressure palm. So if you have a look at the, the lab uh, photos, in the presentation, you will uh, see the how the pressure pump uh, look like. So uh, this uh, within the pressure pump, uh, we have the pressure chamber with uh, the sample located inside the pressure chamber, and the pressure pump can be controlled uh, very good charge mood flow uh, from the zero to ten bar pressure, and uh, the flow rate sensor will. Um, uh, detect the fast and accurate the measurement uh, of the ultra low flow liquid rate with the sensor displays for real-time display of the flow rate. So if you have a look at the, the right hand of graph diagrams, so it's showing the pressure drive and pumping mechanism. So the wire sample put into the chambers 
uh, and uh, we apply the constant pressure into the chambers. So uh, by the applied pressure, the fluid will drive out uh, to the tubing and uh, to the micro uh, chip, a fluid chip, and and the sensor monitor chamber pressure will uh, will uh, have to control the mechanism uh, to allow the the air flows as, and adjust to a control pressures in this case. So uh, PPAM has the features uh, and the benefits as well as like a precise con pressure control resolution up to uh, it is one millibars and it is very excellent accuracy and response times and it's a wide pressure ring and it was used a system with a high flow, a high low fluidic resistance and it can be integrated with the my, uh, micro flow rate sensor to uh, measurement uh, to that measures the flow rate and it's very excellent chemical chemical compatibility it also eliminates the dead volume and sample weight for with the design feature uh, a lockable pressure chamber so we which is very easy to access and uh, accommodate the wiring of the fluid vessel so it has a capacity uh, capacity for fluid sample from uh, 100 microliter to uh, 3 mil, uh, 30 mil allowing long experiment runs. And the MITOS PPAM is the flux directly from the chosen wire, so it reduces sample waste. But uh, the, it also the requires the external pressure source for running the pressure pump. So uh, with the, here is another our the pressure pump ties. We have pressure pump remote. So with the quick and easy to use, so the MITOS PPAM DMOS offers a, a versatile solution for microfluidic, allow you, allowing the users a seamless way to control the experimental environment. So the pump feature is an innovative uh, pneumatic fitting, um, which allows users simply attack the Dolomai remote chamber or custom chamber with the just push and click action, uh, reducing downtime between experiment. And, and the multiple uh, remote chambers can be used, which are very easy, uh, easily accessible to for uh, cleaning uh, or story, uh, sterilization, uh, buttering, buttoning, experimental experimental possibility and uh, increase efficiency uh, within the microfluidic system. So for application requiring um, the temperature controls uh, uh, or the uh, uh, agitation particles such as the cell uh, manipulation or remote chamber. So the remote chamber can uh, be placed on hub list or magnetic, magnetic stirs or uh, incubator or wet bed for controls, uh, temperature controls. This is one of the hours, the, the remote chambers, uh, we call it the mitral PPAM remote chamber for hundreds. So this glass pressure chambers allows the uh, sample volume uh, up to 400 mil to be used uh, fast layer liating uh, continuous pumping for a longer period of time. So, with the beside pressure driven pumping mechanisms of the P pumps, uh, so the flow from the chamber is highly stable and uh, uh, smoothly smoothness, and also is operating over the wide um, pressure ring up to ten bar. So the micro P pump remote chamber for hundred is a simple to connect and provide clear viewing of the simple liquid, and so uh, for its application required temperature control and storing, the remote chamber can be also uh, placed on the hub list uh, or mag uh, magnetic uh, stirrer. Let's uh, summarize uh, about today's section. So uh, we already uh, know about the learned uh, syringe palm are very convenient and had been used for long periods. However, the performance uh, are limits uh, like the response time or oscillation when the setup is complex and when the file control is a request, uh, as it's usually the case in the microfluidic. Uh, the pressure pump were developed for microfluidic and it's a perfectly meet user expectation like uh, it's the response need, uh, stability, or uh, deep flexibility. 
Dolomite provides a wide uh, user-friendly path. So it's designed specifically uh, to manipulate the fluid in microfluidic system, helping you evaluate, uh, evaluate your microfluidic concept quickly and uh, accelerate your time to make it. And also, Dolomite offers a var uh, variety of the pressure pumps solution, providing the perlis uh, liquid flow even at very low flow rate. And the future of the unit technology is the mitosis P pump. Two advantages of a traditional string pump, such as the fast response and increase of very flexibility. Okay, so um, I'm finished the, uh, the presentation um, here. So if you have any question, uh, just please write out the question in the chat box. So now we will move to uh, a live demonstration with our system uh beside me and uh, behind me in here so uh, let me switch the camera to this one okay okay so uh here is our uh, the single channel system with uh using uh, in the left scale for IND's purpose. So it will include in the freeze the pressure pump in here and the chip in here and chips under uh, locate under the microscope uh, with the high speed uh, cameras uh, and it can be visualized uh, all the process inside the chip. Uh, let's talk about the uh, more focus on the pressure pump. So in here we have a three suppressive pump. And uh, here also have a, we have a two type of pressure pump. So this is this one is one type of uh, most advanced uh, our pressure pump. So it has click and knobs controls uh, so to allow you uh, to manually controls by the standalone to use. And this one. Um, also can control by uh, the, using the PC with the, our software. This one is pressure chamber which embed with the body. So uh, inside the pressure chamber, we uh, we put uh, the sample wire inside, and the sample uh, uh, the chambers we connect to the the chip through the flow rate sensor in here, uh, which uh, can measure the very uh, precise uh, flow rate the flow rate. With the, the sensor displays, uh, can visualize uh, the real time the flow rate on the uh, pressure pump uh, on the pressure pump. So uh, the other um, type the pressure pump in here is uh, is the basics. It's a lower cost of the pressure pump in here. So we don't have this one. So don't have the knobs controls. So you cannot use this as a standalone. So you have to use this one and control the, uh, this one by just uh, only using the PC software. Uh, and in this case, uh, the difference with uh, this one is uh, we have a remote chamber in this case. So the remote chamber will connect with the body by using the tubings, pump body by using tubing, uh, and the flow rate also uh, measures uh, can be measured by the flows. Uh, with a sensor. So in this case, so the pressure chambers uh, also have is a type of high pressure uh, black material. So the sample can put inside here, uh, and um, it's 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 very convenient if uh, you want to study all the control temperatures uh, with all sample. So you just put in half liters or in the water bag with the storing bar. So you can easily control the, the, uh, the temperature and uh, flow experiment. With flow experiment. So, okay, so just uh, it, it's a short introduction about the hours of pressure uh, pump. So uh, let now let me share with you the uh, our software with we connect with the press pump and how it's uh, used in, in, in your experiment in the experiment. Okay, so uh, if you have a look in uh, in in my sharing screen, 
So this one showing the Dolomite uh, flow control centers, uh, which allows you to control uh, the own of the Dolomite equipment uh, by using the PC. So in here, so we have a two pressure pump is uh, under the working conditions. So uh, one is the, the using the water at the uh, inside the chamber, and the, the other one is for uh, ethanol, for example. So let's let's uh, see so how the press pump work with the uh, uh, Dolomite uh, flow control centers. So in this one, uh, showing the information and setting of the press pump. So you can choose it in the water or uh, with the fluid, different the fluid uh, calibration. So we choose the water or another oil like FC40 or Novect or mineral oil uh, or Hessendic hand for calibration. Otherwise, if you use another different um, uh, solvent, you can uh, manually uh, uh, doing the calibration by yourself using the water uh, as a fluid calibration. So, uh, the mode of the pressure pump can be controlled by the uh, with the start action by control the pressures, or you can control flow at the start action, or you also the switch controls mode from the pressure to flow in here. So by just click here. So in this case, uh, just supply pressure already is uh, around the 5,000 millibar, and we uh, you, you make it uh, fluid with uh, to, uh, water. And uh, we use the micro uh, flow rate sensors uh, range from 30 to 1,000 um, microliter per minute. So let me uh, let we see uh, the how the pressure pump can work using this one. Sorry, so it's like a time for it's like some problem. So I need to restart with pumps. So, um, okay, so during the waiting time, okay, so now it's good, okay. So during the, if you have, a, just remind you, if you have any question, just write out the question in the chat box. So we will move soon to the Q&A section. So in here, okay, I just uh, try to remove the, some, uh, like, like target flow rates, and we can see it more clearly. So if you want to, uh, in this one, to uh, get a, Target pressure, for example, like 500 millibar. So as you can see, it's a very quick response uh, to achieve the 500 millibar. And the flow rate is the response around 230 mic per minute. So, uh, for example, so if we want, if we change to, uh, we want to increase the flow rate, rate uh, no pressure increase the flow rate so we increase the pressure like for example 600 it will show you very very fast response when you want you just click change so it will uh achieve obtain the, up to 600 millibar uh so how about the for maybe 1500 it's a high gap between the pressure so you can also very get a very quick response from this one so it's a very uh, it's a kind of advantage of the pressure pump so you can uh, so very quickly uh, change your parameter using pressure uh, using pressure controllers so also you can uh, choose the flow uh, mode controls for example in here now now is a 700 so you can get 700 micro per minute uh, by just adjusting the pressure uh, in the pressure chamber. So if you want to uh, decrease to uh, 500, just enter. And this one, if you adjust, uh, the pressure will reduce to adjust uh, the, the, the flow rate up to, uh, down to 500 microfluid mean uh, with, within a second. It's a very quick um, response. 
So as you can see, it's so it's a very stable during the uh, the running experiment. Yeah. So uh, so this one showing the um, so it's is showing the how the what the advantage of the the how the advantage of the breast pump in the microfluidic experiment running. So it's let, let's say just it's very 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 quickly uh, the adjusting the changing the condition by using pressure pump and also uh, it's uh, provide very smooth uh, flow. You can see the very smooth flow by just using the pressure uh, pressure pump. Let's see it's the current flow rate and and the target flow rate in here. You can see. So the 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 position just just less than the one uh, micro per minute experiment. Okay, so uh, may I we finish the demonstration part uh, in here. So let's move to the Q and A section. If you have any question, please write out the in the questions box. So. Okay, I can see you. Uh, one question. Uh, two questions. Okay, let's check with the first question. First question is helpful to check where prevent back flows uh, of the pressure pump. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, it's very helpful to use uh, check valves to prevent back flow in uh, pressure pump. It's, it's one of the advantages as I uh, mentioned in the presentation, and even though in uh, our uh, uh, enterprise farming here, we also are using the, the two way curve to prevent the back pressure when you change the uh, uh, when you change the pressure pressure uh, in the pressure chamber. So uh, it's very useful to to prevent the back pressure or um, with the pipa. So the second question, so as manuals, sorry, I'm not clear here. As for manual calculation of solvent for flow rate, so can we get uh, linear relationship, uh, relation between the sol flow rate and actual flow rate, or is depending on, uh, on used solvent? Um, you mean in this case, for uh, this one, you mean the solvent uh, uh, so for the calibration step? So flow rates and actual flow rates. Um, well, uh, yes, uh, actually it uh, depend. I, I believe it depending on uh, the solvent. So uh, in different solvent, we also we can get a linear uh, the relation between the so flow rate and actual flow rate, uh, right? So with the, using the uh, the calibration step, so you can get the linear linear co connection linear relation. Okay, is there any another question? Okay. Okay, so uh, is there any question? More? If you have more questions, just write out the question in the chat box. So we still have uh, about five minutes. Yeah. So during the, the question Q and A section, so I just want to, um, to uh, remind you that um, next section will be uh, focused on the another uh, important parameters uh, in using the, uh, in running the application uh, in my with microfluidics. It is related. To, uh, we we talk about the chip. So. 
uh, it will be delivered uh, uh, on the last uh, on the last Thursday of next month. Uh, so yeah, if you have interest on the this section, so please uh, visit to our website and uh, have registration for registration. Okay, so um, yeah, I, I don't see uh, any more questions here. So um, yeah, I would like to um, yeah, we would like to uh, finish the our uh, webinar section uh, here. So if you have a more um, questions, further, so please feel free to contact us to lose our uh, the emails that we put into the text box. So uh, we will try to uh, reply on the those questions uh, in here. Then remember that next uh, topic is related to the microfluidic chip. We we talk much about on the, uh, the very important microfluidic chip. So uh, please visit to our website and have the registration if you have interest. Um, is the webinar recorded? Yes, yes. Uh, we have record webinars and we will publish on the uh, and send the link to the on the website uh, on, on your emails by emails so okay yes yeah, so okay um let's finish the, our section in here so thank you again very much uh all of you for the attention today and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you uh, as the next section uh, related to the chip uh, discussion. So, okay, thank you very much, and see you. See you next. Bye bye.